Well, good morning. This morning I'm going to be serious. I'm going to talk about rest in peace. R.I.P. Rest in peace. The bad is medicine. The reason I take my medicine every morning, I'm showing people I'm capable of taking care of my damn self. And you're going to say, okay, that's pretty boring and straight to the point. <sighs> now, you can expect your mate to take care of you till you die. But what if your mate dies before you do? Uh, you think your kids are going to have to take the time to take care of you? You're full of crap. We're going to put your ass in the home. So you need to sh show people that you're taking care of yourself. Taking your meds. Uh, paying your own bills. Etc, etc, etc. As they used to say. But even at that, one of these days you won't be able to take care of yourself. And then they're bound for the home. work a lot of people be married when they get lose their mate so they can have somebody to take care of my guests or something hell I don't know but the minute you start giving up your freedom you're sort of screwed <clears throat> when I was young <coughs> I used to deal in real estate Buying properties is sad, the other. And, and I still buy property and sell property. Uh, I'm showing people I'm functional. I tell them, one reason I show that I buy this property or whatever, it ain't to brag. I don't give a damn about shit anymore. I care more about my freedom than I do anything else. Coming to visit. Come on, jump up here, you lazy thing. Come on, you want up here. Come on. You want to go for it? No. Come on. Go. Jump. Come on. Huh. Take care of these damn crazy dogs. Ain't nobody else going to take care of your animals. Go put them in. Go put them in. They'll put, go put them in the power to be euthanized. They ain't going to put up with them. 97 oxygen, that's good. 91 pulse, 93 pulse. Uh, the other day was down to 80. I had to go to the doctor. Yep, I sure did. <clears throat> what was I talking about? Yeah, I mean... You might expect your mate to take care of you and maybe keep you out of the home, but sometimes they can't they keep up with all your sickness. They have to put you in the home. You, know, you might be lucky enough to go quick. Car wreck, accident, heart attack in the middle of the night while you're asleep, hopefully. Uh, Back to like I said, ah, shoot. Mm. I, I tell people what I'm up to because I ain't bragging. I'm just telling you, hey, I'm functional. 164, shit, I take a pill. Uh, you know, I'm still capable of buying and selling and being, you know, whatever, regardless of what the kids say. I really don't want to put up with yeah. I like to 
paint paintings. I like to make do stuff, be creative. Oops. I want to show that I'm functional. Poor old dog up there. He depends on me. You can't depend on relatives. You can't depend on your kids to take care of you when you get old. And in some cases, you can't even depend on your wife to take care of you or your husband. You're really on your own. There goes my low blood pressure again. 106 over 63, which ain't too bad. And that's up moving around. If I hadn't been moving around, let the dogs out, making me a pop, blah, blah, blah. That damn blood pressure had been 60 over 60 or some shit. I'd be dead in hell if that would be the case. I'm supposed to write all this shit down, but hell, I don't give a shit. I ain't doing the damn doctor's and nurse's job. I'm doing the shit for myself. Got my thermometer. I got two or three of these. I ain't got no fever this morning. I'm supposed to go pick up my antibiotics today for my earache. He's claiming the earache. How last time he claimed the earache and had a stage four throat cancer on one side. So hell, he's misdiagnosed like a ish. I know there's more than a damn earache. And I've had ear transplants, so. Still out of there. Damn leg is just this morning. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, I like to, you know, I didn't have nothing, they didn't have nothing smart to say about my painting. Oh well, what the hell. I guess the trolls don't give a shit. I got too old to work. They worry about me, huh? Mm. Uh, I'm still capable of making a living. Mm. There's times to buy real estate, and there's times not to. There's time to invest in stocks and bonds, and there's times not to. The land will always be there. I found that out. My father-in-law, God bless his old Jewish soul. He said, there's three things you should do. Well, there's actually four, and he never did tell me the fourth one. He said, invest in land, stocks and bonds, and working capital. In other words, you're going to have a little bit of money pulled back in case a good deal comes around, you got to buy. And, they, uh, and they, they need cash, you know. And the fourth thing I never knew what he said, I think it was faith in God or something. Then three, I pay attention to. Yeah, he spoke seven languages. Uh, I don't know how many pawn shops he had. Them Jews were into that part, loaning, loaning that money. Uh, but anyway, he ended up in the nursing home. We, me and my wife worked all the time. Now, he took care of his wife she passed. So there's, you know, husband will take care of the wife, wife take care of the husband usually when they pass, till they pass, without getting, keeping them in a nursing home. But we was working, trying to raise three kids, two of them in college, working two or three jobs. I didn't, you know, I didn't, not that I didn't care for him, which my wife didn't care for him. We was too damn busy trying to take care of our damn responsibilities of, we accumulated on ourselves. And he advised too long anyway. We went and seen him once a week, sometimes twice a week. Uh, spent a little time with him. Sometimes I'd take the kids, sometimes I didn't. But that's the point about this. There's a, uh, you're really on your own. That's why I make videos. I show people I can take care of myself. And do trust me, that my kids watching damn videos. But they don't care for me. They're just living busy lives. 
Uh, very busy lives. They do what they can. They're good kids. I don't want the rats in the damn one. I don't vacuum and mop the floors. They do that shit. But I do get up and take care of my own medicine. And I don't even wash my own clothes. I wash my own dishes. I don't have a damn many dishes. Uh, don't you fall now. I said, well, you're going to end up with euthanasia. He's going to hide behind me. And yeah. Yeah, I buy real estate. I go shopping. I paint paintings. I make her jewelry. I make a little bit of money off the jewelry, not very much. My granddaughter, she she makes a little bit. Mainly it's just relaxing. It's being creative. Oh, I love to be creative. I got some compliments on my bracelet yesterday. It's supposed to keep arthritis. The copper bracelet is supposed to keep arthritis down. Uh, and I, I love to paint paintings. I usually don't show too much of my stuff. We always got, usually you got somebody with a smart, smart attitude about it. My theory behind it, the eyes and the, be the, the, the beauty is an eye of the beholder. It's like making jewelry. That's what it is. Let's see the back side of that. Let's see how I curve that. Uh, and I appreciate when people are kind to me. I had two people that gave me that uh, ring making sets, and I appreciate both of them. My kids bought me another kit. I appreciated that. I mean, like I said, well, you already got one or two. Well, that don't matter. It's the damn thought that counts and the kindness. People, I don't know where the hell they've, they've missed that somewhere. Yeah. Uh, my friend out there, she said uh, she used to make stuff and give it away and this, that, and that. And one of her friends said, well, I don't need no more junk. Well, they should, that woman wasn't a very damn good friend. They should have kicked her in the ass. <laughs> That's what I said. I gave paintings away. My relatives and my friends. Uh, well, some of them I even thought they were my friends, but I guess it wasn't. But no, when you, you're on your own in life, you actually are anyway. Even if you're married or not married, you're still on your own. That's why God Christ said He made a, he a husband or a wife, made you a help, helpmate, both both directions actually. Mm. Uh, I gotta get out there today and put. Ooh, I got a headache from that eye strain. And wear my sunglasses yesterday. I hate walking around the damn dark. Uh, but I gotta put a uh, battery charger on the ambulance. It's five o'clock. I'll have to wait. I'll wait till daylight. I don't like stumbling around the damn dark. And uh. That way I can charge up that battery real good. I hadn't charged that ambulance since I got back really. I started the bus two or three times. I don't know why I didn't start that ambulance. Now it's got a crank for a while before you pick up the fuel. It always has. You should go out there and start it every day to keep the fuel up. But I didn't, so what the hell. Shoot me. Uh, my, uh, Dog pen thing is supposed to come today. Yeah. But that's why I tell people stuff. I mean, I ain't bragging or anything else. I'm telling you, I'm being functional. I'm doing stuff. I ain't laying there in the bed saying, oh, woe is me. And hell, I've seen people 50 years old, 60 years old, 70, 80, 90 years old, and gave up on life. Well, you can't do that shit. You gotta keep be functional and keep going. And the doctor put some damn order restrictions on me. I can't do this, can't do that, or I shouldn't do this, or shouldn't do that, basically the way he puts it. 
I mean, he means you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm doing the damn thing I want to. But I tell him, I said, hell, I know my own in the damn way. Uh, that's my theory. You're on your own anyways, what difference does it make? Yep. Like my kids say. She wanted to say, well, you buy that property, you never see it. I said, well, it's an investment, shit. And if all the people start going back to work or whatever, they're going to need stuff. That's my theory. I would, I'd like to have a big old apartment complex right about now. Because then people is got evicted out of their houses because uh, they believed in the government. Uh, well, you don't have to pay your bills to think uh, COVID's over with. Well, hell, COVID might not never be over with. And then all of a sudden, they, they like they did in Afghanistan. Man, you're on your own, dude. That's why they was hanging on the outside of planes. You better trust in yourself. Ooh. I have got the thinnest fingernails. I don't know why. Better quit. I already tore that one about half off. Yeah, rest in peace, people. The doctor said I had a lung infection. Like bronchitis or some shit. I don't know. That's what I always said. They'll figure it out. Shit, they're taking up blood and this, that, and other. They, they'll make up some damn story. Where you going, Ori? Get up there and fall and break a hip and go to the home, dude. So I ain't going to do it. I'm getting around and see what everybody else is up to. My, my wife and my kids are over the van. They took up all the best real estate, he says. Yeah. Coming back. He's trying to figure out how to get back over there. We'll jump for it. Go, 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 go. We'll go, go. He said, I ain't going. I got one. Couldn't even talk yesterday. My throat was so sore. Because of my ear, I can't hardly swallow. It's my jaw, and then I have sharp pains in my ear. Uh, I might be cutting another wisdom tooth. This one over here, it bothered me a lot till it cut come through the skin. Uh, it hit my ear and then my throat cancer, so hell, I don't know what that was on that side. Mm. Yeah, that's how life is. Uh, you need to plan for your future. That's what I keep telling my damn kids and my grandkids. Plan for your future. Come on, jump up over here. Come on. Walk on me. Well, uh, but that's it. You got to plan for your future. Take, show people you're responsible for your own actions. You know, I show them that I can take the medicine. Do my own vitals, shop, get out and buy my own groceries. I mean, there's things I can't do. I ain't, I ain't working underneath the car, but I can hook up a battery charger. You know, they don't expect you to be 100% uh, active as you was when you was young. Uh, I let the kids mop the floor, let them mow the grass. I let them run the vacuum. Actually, just make sure they come and Check on me. That gives them a damn excuse to come check on me. Mowing grass, running back, even mopping floors. Uh, uh, I let them go to the laundromat for me. And I let them. I don't have that much cl dirty clothes, actually. Mm. I'll wear a night shirt three, three times before I tore it in the laundry. Every time I take a bath, it, uh, and when I go out, I'm only out for something closed for maybe two hours. I come back and put on my comfortable clothes, the night clothes, my 
go to the lobby, go t shirts and uh, boxer shorts and short pants, I go in shorts. Uh, my force a suit or Levi's or something like that. Now, in the wintertime, I go through more Levi's dress pants. Maybe the coat needs to go to the dry cleaners. And most generally, I let the kids go do all that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But they don't expect you to be as young and, and doing all the things that you used to do, as long as you can take care of yourself, cook your own meals. That's why I put up a cooking video every once in a while. But I'm just showing people I can take care of myself and feed myself. That's something you guys are interested in, you need to start thinking about. Quit sitting there telling them, oh, woe is me, woe is me. I got on, a woman got on to me yesterday, said, well, what are you doing? Tell, bragging and this, that, and the other when you buy stuff? No, I'm just telling you, hey, I can buy and sell just like I used to. That's basically what I'm showing you. I ain't bragging about buying something. I'm just showing you, hey, I still got my own, you know, on good deals and bargains. I'm thinking about setting up a booth out there at the uh, local swap meet, I guess is what they call it. That's what they call it nowadays. I might even take a bunch of shit to the, uh, in October, they have a, a medieval evil fair out there at Jones. I might even do that. Take a bunch of jewelry and crap and take it out there and the Medieval Evil Fair, whatever the hell they call it. Renaissance Fair, that's what they call the damn thing. Set me up a booth and just sit there and visit all day long. It's cool by October. So, a few things, that's why I'm making up a bunch of crap. Now, the swap meet or whatever, I'll take the jewelry and some other odds and ends I got in here. I got some things I don't need anymore, don't use anymore. I got, I got all kinds of uh, night vision equipment, pepper equipment, titanium pots, and all this other shit that I don't use anymore. Backpacks and shit like that where they, so they can go tromp over the Appalachian Trail. Boy, what is your problem up there, buddy boy? He's... He's going blind. He's got cataracts over his eyes so damn bad he can't see him. Uh, I'll keep him until the day he croaks. He ain't going no damn euthanasia. Uh, I'll let him die natural. Give him some pain medication now. Give him some arthritis medication now. If they make that shit for humans, they make it for dogs. Uh, I miss him, gonna miss him more than anybody. All, all four of them's got their own personality. You can't be still. I, what the hell's wrong with you this morning? Can't get comfortable? He does stuff like that and he goes, my blood sugar is high. He'll pester me and pester me. Uh, that's about the only one that keeps a good eye on me is that damn thing. Getting big boy. Be still. You're going to fall up there. Yeah, rest in peace. I should make a damn video, a eulogy video. That way my kids play it after I'm dead. To inform the people that does care on YouTube. I just bet. I'm gonna let you go early a little bit. Sorry, I talked too long, but you better think about yourself and who's gonna take care of you when you do get old. Uh, and show people you're functional and you can take care of yourself as long as you can. Cause they, they'll say, "Well, poor mom, poor dad. I had to put him in the home." And then they're wishing, well, I hope they have a hurry up and pass it because I can't stand to see him suffer. 
What the hell you ain't surfing? What the hell you what the hell you talking about? Gotta go talk to you guys later.